Hey YouTube, thought I'd make a quick video with a little project I'm working on here. Uh, I'm doing a fence line for my dogs. It's about a thousand linear feet of sheep and goat wire uh, with four by four holes uh, in it so the dogs can't get out. I'll be running a strand of bob wire along the, at the ground line to keep them from digging out and from coyotes or whatever from digging in. Um, I should have started this video when I started the fence, but I didn't think about it, so it is what it is. So where we're at today is I want to show you how I put in my wooden post, my round wooden post, how I done my corners, because that's where you pull all your strength from, and how I done my wooden bracing at 100 foot interval, intervals um, along the fence line to be able to pull you to keep your wire nice and tight. Uh, so without further ado, Let's see what we got. So, here's a corner section. So all you do is put in a six inch pressure treated round post, uh, six inch by eight foot. I drop it down in there about, oh, three and a half foot or something like that, three foot. There's one there, one in the corner, and one there. Then we run these cross bracings back to the corner post and back to the corner post. Now how we attach that piece here is I'll try to get some half inch rebar, half inch by one foot long, pre-cut at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you want to pick them up from. And then we drill a half inch hole into the post. And before you set this cross member up, you find the center of it and you drill a half inch hole, oh, you know, this far or so up in there. You wanna leave about uh, an inch or so sticking out here. You're gonna use that for your high tension wire to wrap around and go down to the corner. And then the same thing on this one, you wrap around that piece of rebar sticking out and go down to the corner. You loop around it and come back up. You will attach the two ends using a U-bolt you get a U-boat at any hardware store. U-boat clamps, I got two, uh, it's exactly that, it's a U-boat. It's got some threads, it's got nuts, and it's got a little piece of metal that clamps down onto the wire when you tighten the nuts down. And that will keep the wire together. Then once you get that, you just twist that wire with a piece of another rebar or whatever you wanna use to twist it to pull the slack. And once it gets nice and taut, going down there and down there that will help brace these end posts and keep everything nice and tight so that's what I've done there on the corners going down the fence line every hundred foot you want to put two posts tell you what I'm going to go this way Probably quick. so every hundred foot You'll put two posts, two more wooden posts, that is. I'll go show you what what we use that for. That's simply to have something to staple your wire to, pull your wire to, and attach it in shorter intervals so that you're not got so much wire and so much pressure on your metal. So basically it's just a post in the ground, a post in the ground, one more of our cross post. Doing it the exact same way, drill your hole, find center, drill your hole. Same thing on this end, drill your hole, drill your hole, leave the rebar out. And what we're gonna do is wrap that high tension wire. You can get that at any kind of farm supply, tractor supply, anywhere like that. You wanna wrap it around. We're gonna form an X pattern on all of these. We're gonna come down from the top, down to the bottom of this post. Then we're gonna go from the top of that post to the bottom of that post. And then we're gonna put those U-clamps we talked about earlier. And then we're gonna twist the wire until the wire becomes really tight, both directions. That will keep this sturdy when you go to pull that wire and stretch that wire. Then you can attach it to it without it giving. Say so every hundred foot, there's another one. And another one, and then all the way to the road all the way to the end of your fence line. So once you get 
the, the wooden post in the ground in the corners. And then at every hundred foot, you want to take your string, you want to tie your string to the inside the best you can of your post. You don't want it in the middle because that's not where your wire is going to be stretched and nailed to. Your wire is going to be stretched and nailed to here. So you want to keep your metal post as closely in line with that outside as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you need it to be close. And how I done these is you get a measuring wheel is the easiest way I can tell you to do it. And from, from each post, you roll out 10 foot. Make a mark, lay your post in the grass. 10 foot, make a mark, lay your post in the grass. All the way around your fence line. There's another one of those middle bracing. There's another corner. There's another middle. And then that goes over to my gate. We'll walk over to the gate so we can show you how to brace that. Then it will go up over this hill like you care all the way up and attach into a existing fence so let's go see how we do our fence i mean our gate our gate needs to be pretty strong so we're basically doing treating it like a corner post on both sides of the gate so we can get that strength from running back two directions back to the corner because even though the gate weighs not that much it will pull on that post over time if you got kids or somebody leaning on that post or kids that want to grab a hold of it and ride the gate when it swings open you need that strength otherwise you're going to be out here repairing this constantly so highly recommend that you put in corner post corner bracing both sides of the fence baby dog dude come uh -uh. Come here. Sorry, my dog's snowing out here. My dog's trying to get in the creek. Baby dog, come. Uh -uh. Dude, come. Okay, so what we got here is our gate. Well, I can do this. All right, so here's our gate going into the other section. And all I've done is come in here with a post, making a turn and post, same thing. Drive your rebar in, drive your rebar in, rebar, rebar, and then I'm gonna run high tension down, high tension down, and that's gonna brace this thing off really strong. Same thing on this side. Post, corner post, high tension wire, high tension wire. And that will make it where this fence or this gate will not sag. It will not fold this board over and cause the gate to start dragging the ground. That's pretty much it for now. Once I get to the point where I'm gonna start stretching the fence itself, I will videotape that and let you guys know how that goes. Have a great day.